Hey everyone! So today I'm here to review the Urban Decay 10 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil Set. It retails for $52 US, $62 in Canada, and contains 10 eyeliners in total. One full-size perversion eyeliner that is 0.04 ounces, and 9 deluxe size 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils that are 0.03 ounces each. It is said to be a limited edition 24-hour wear set of eyeliners that features a full-size black eyeliner, 9 travel size pencil in all new shades, and a grindhouse double barrel sharpener. Perversion is described as a blackest black matte. Glitter Rock is described as a metallic pink with pink multi-dimensional sparkle. Moonspoon is described as a metallic gray with silver sparkle. Vacancy is described as a bright metallic teal. Faint is described as a warm taupe matte. Gonzo is described as an electric blue matte with tonal shimmer. Smoke Out is described as a taupe black satin. Mugshot is described as a light metallic taupe with slight pink shift. Stargazer is described as a soft metallic gold. And Voodoo is described as a bright metallic purple with dimensional sparkle. To start off, the Grindhouse Double Barrel Sharpener is without doubt my favorite cosmetic sharpener. It sharpens all types and sizes of pencils closely, easily, and cleanly without wasting any product. Like most sharpeners on the market, it features a little slide out pick that makes cleaning quick and easy. The Grindhouse Sharpener is sold separately for $10 US, $12 in Canada. It is slightly pricey for just a pencil sharpener, so it's always a delight seeing one of these included in sets like this. Perversion is a very deep, dark black with neutral undertones and a satin matte finish. This pencil is highly pigmented, creamy, smooth, and glides on easily. It had rich color payoff in a single swipe and lasted 4 hours on the waterline and 9 hours on the lash line before fading. Glitter Rock is a peach brown with warm undertones and a pink sparkle. This pencil applies slightly uneven, semi-opaque, but glides on easily. It was only buildable to a semi-sheer coverage and lasted 8 hours before fading. Moonspoon is a taupe grey with cool undertones and a silver sparkle. This pencil applies slightly uneven, semi-opaque, but glided on easily. Once again, it was only buildable to a semi-sheer coverage and lasted 7 hours before fading. Vacancy is a bright, vibrant teal with cool undertones and a metallic finish. This pencil is pigmented, smooth, and glides on easily. It applied semi-sheer in a single swipe, but was buildable to a full, opaque coverage. Vacancy lasted 8.5 hours before fading. Faint is a camel brown grey with warm undertones and a satin matte finish. This pencil was pigmented, smooth, lightly creamy, and glided on easily. It applied mostly opaque in a single swipe, and it was buildable. Faint lasted 8 hours before fading. Gonzo is a bright medium sky blue with cool undertones and a subtle silver sparkle. This pencil was smooth, lightly creamy, and glided on easily. It applied semi-opaque in a single swipe, but was buildable to a mostly opaque coverage. Gonzo lasted 8 hours before fading. Smoke Out is a dark brown taupe with warm undertones and a satin finish. This pencil was pigmented, smooth, creamy, and glided on easily. It took two passes for a fully opaque coverage and lasted nine hours before fading. Mugshot is a brightened copper taupe with warm undertones and a metallic finish. This pencil was pigmented, smooth, creamy, and glided on easily. It applied semi-sheer in a single swipe, but was buildable to a mostly opaque coverage. Mugshot lasted eight hours before fading. Stargazer is a yellow gold with warm undertones, gold sparkle, and a metallic finish. This pencil was smooth, creamy, and glided on easily. The creaminess of the pencil almost came off as a waxy texture. It applied semi-sheer and it wasn't buildable. The color seemed to stick to itself rather than dispersing evenly, so once applied it did look uneven. Stargazer lasted 8 hours before fading. Voodoo is a deep purple with warm undertones and pink, blue, and purple sparkle. This pencil was smooth, creamy, and glided on easily. Once again, the creaminess of the pencil kind of came off as a waxy texture. It applied semi-sheer and was only buildable to a mostly opaque, uneven coverage. Voodoo lasted 8 hours before fading. Overall, the set is a nice value, the shade range is great, and the deluxe sizes are generous. I'm a huge fan of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils. They're one of my favorite eyeliners out there, but I wish the pencils in the set were more consistent and had better pigmentation. Some of the shades in the set only apply semi-sheer, especially the more glittery, sparkly ones. Overall, I feel that this set is a really great way for people to step out of their comfort zone and indulge in some fun colors and finishes without having to invest in full-sized products. As a longtime Urban Decay eye pencil fan, this set was a definite must-have for me, especially since 9 out of the 10 shades in the set are limited edition. So let me know in the comments below if you are interested in this set, if you'll be checking it out, or what your thoughts are on the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On eye pencils in general. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches.
pages, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, all of my social media links are listed down below in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope that you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.